This is Total Telecom TV at Gigabit Access in Brussels, where I'm delighted to be joined by Anthony Whelan of the European Commission. Anthony, thank you for sparing us a few minutes today. You've just presented the keynote here. One of the things you talked about was Gigabit coverage is a little bit patchy at the moment. How are we going to improve that? Well, I, I think, Brian, one of the most important things is for the sector to see that public policy is, is backing them and has a coherent vision. So uh, setting a, a public policy target at European but also at national level is key to then regulatory financial planning and other things falling into place. We see, for example, a company like German, uh, a country like Germany, uh, which is at the lower end of the, the scale, uh, transforming its public policy objectives and we think something like that will make a, a major change and it's very coherent with what we're aiming for at the European level. I mean, talking about objectives, you mentioned the 2025 objectives. Can you just remind us what those three main ones are? Well, it's all designed to uh, focus attention on gigabit needs uh, by 2025. So we uh, push for what we call socio-economic drivers, so enterprises, schools, administrations, libraries, uh, to have access to gigabit speeds everywhere in Europe, uh, for households everywhere in Europe to have at least 100 megs per second but upgradable to gigabit, uh, and for 5G networks to be available in all major urban centres and on major transport routes. And how do you think we're going to get there? You're confident? Well, once you give the sector long-term vision through public policy targets, you then need to put policy measures in place. Some of those are regulatory, which we're negotiating at the moment on the European Communications Code, but it can also be things like planning regimes, uh, uh, permits and so on at the national and local level, which we have uh, pushed on the agenda with the broadband cost reduction legislation, but that's a baseline. Member states can do a lot more. And another area which is very important is uh, the availability of efficient financing tools for areas where there's a genuine market failure, where the market will not get a return unless it gets public support. It's certainly going to be an interesting few years. Thank you very much for talking to us this morning. Thanks, Brian.